Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you for joining us today on the Fluid Art Express Valentine's Day special. Um, up first, you would have seen Taslima from Taslima Mayor Art. Nathan from The Fine Art of Distraction. Then there's me. Um, after me, we've got Christy from Creations by Christy. I had to think about that. After Christy... We have Shannon from Shan B Fluid Art. Then Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. After Bubbles, we have Angie from Angie's Fluid Art. Then finishing off the day with Tony, the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. So stay on board and have some fun. Okay. What I am going to do today is first of all hide all these hearts in the background because I've got paint all over them and Bubbles is going to kill me. Oops. Anywho. MDF heart, which is, I don't know, about 12 inches, 13 inches, something like that, that I've made up. They are actually available from fluid-art.co. So that's where you can get them if you don't want to make your own. I've got pillow paint down, which is British Paints Low Sheen. That's all I use for my pillow paints. And what I'm going to do is, I've got a whole heap of eye candy pigments, and day glow, and black diamond, and a mix of all sorts of different colours in here. So what I'm going to do is, do a little bit of a pour in the middle of it. Now I've kept these quite thick, as if you were going to do a bloom. So I'll just pour these down. Okay, then what I'm going to do is get my little swipe tool, put some black cell activator on it, which is Amsterdam Lamp Black, mixed with Australian Flowtrol, roughly about three to one. So I'm going to put some on that. Like so, and I'm going to give this a radial swipe. So I'm going to start here, just work my way around. Back to where I started from. Like that, and I'm just going to lift up and take the weight. Now that cell activator is quite thick, so it takes a while for it to sink and do its thing. You can speed it up by blowing on it with a straw, which I might do. like that get things going now what I'm going to do is grab my skewer and just put some patterns in it so I'm going to start from 
outside where the white is. Just loop some patterns through. like that then what I'm going to do is grab my little torch and pop some bubbles you're always going to have bubbles in your paint no matter what even if you've mixed your paints up a couple of days previously especially if you're using pigments and things like that what happens is all your pigments tend to sink to the bottom of the cup that it's in so, let's just grab a random colour, like that. All the pigments will be heavy and sit in the bottom, so you're going to have to mix them up before you pour, which introduces air bubbles, no matter what you do. So don't stress too much. Okie dokie, what we'll do is give this a bit of a spin. and see what happens. So just go nice and slow. Let it spread out on its own. Now where that open hole is, where the heart is, you're going to lose paint down inside there. No big deal. So I'll give that a few spins. And it spreads out like that. So... While the paint's still on there, quite thick, you can go in and just modify a few little bits and pieces if you like. You trashing the place back there, Bubbles? Just a little. I'm just going to sit back down. <laughs> Doing my best to behave. Oh, I see. You can drag some of them selectivator lines through to make different patterns. You're always going to have big cells in the middle and small cells all the way around the outside edges. nature of the beast like that you might leave those alone because I like those you can just add little patterns in here if you like to make it a little bit different from top to bottom. Always wipe your skewer tip off before you dip in again. Otherwise you're going to mix up white lines and dirty colours off here in through it. Put that bubble. Alright, I think I might start with that. Give it a little bit of a spin. By spinning again, where you've run your skewer through, it should close up the gaps. And that should be that. Pop that one up. 
all right. So, that there is my radial swipe. All right, I might press pause and do another quickie for you. Okay. This time, I've got a smaller heart that I've cut out. That's about eight inches, nine inches. And I'm gonna do a bloom on this one. So, I'm gonna just start putting some colors down. Mainly reds and pinks and stuff like that. So that's a, a neon pink that I've messed around with. Now I've got a couple of eye candy reds here. So we'll have a bit of a play with those. If I could read the lid, I'd be able to tell you what the colour is, but I've got paint all over it. Oops. If I remember, I'll link them in the description. That way you'll be able to see what colour they were. Oh, is that one? A carny red. And the one previous was rose red. This one is shuri red. Some of that down. I think we might go a little bit of purple. Just a little bit because I don't want it to take over too much. Another purple. Put this one around the outside edge. and we'll go with a bit more neon pink in the middle right there I'm going to get some white cell activator which is Amsterdam titanium white Put a bit of that down. But then I'm going to add another colour over the top of it. We'll go with the red again. And then we'll go with black cell activator. That should give the cells white rings around them when it blows out.
All right, mini blower. Grab the straw, give it a bit of a blow in the middle. Grab my little skewer. Crazy patterns all through it. Like that. So you can see where I've used the white cell activator. You've got white rings around everything. Down. Give it a bit of a spin, see where it moves to. Okie dokie, we'll pop that one up. Scrape that off. So the white cell activator goes around your cells. Gives a cool little pattern. All right, guys. Hope you like that one. Up next, we have Christy from Creations by Christy. So if you click on her name in the title of this video, it'll take you directly to her YouTube video. Uh, if you're in the live chat, I'll be putting in the links anyway. Just click on those. Or if you're using the playlist link, just sit back, relax, and all the other videos will play one after another. Makes it super, super easy for you. All right, guys. Have fun. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.